from facing away from the road so people that if there are people going by they don't see my camp there's like a little privacy it's like don't look at me guys i was looking too from a distance when you're running up on one of these camps in the daytime that just looks like a tree trunk you don't even know that that's actually a little camp there a little bit of camouflage I don't know why I got the purple chat on. I should have that shit muted. You never stream with the purple chat on. Or green chat or whatever your color is. Don't stream with the faction chat up, guys. He said, Rakataka. I don't want none of your jelly. Alright, we're on the North Vega Bridge. I'm looking for mining stuff all the while. Mining is still... Among questing, like, I, I got priorities in this order. Mining, and then questing. And then everything else. Gathering professions, and, like, everything else. And as far as questing is concerned, I stick to the main story until I can't. I get to the main story up to where, like, uh, okay, it's too high level and I can't kill things anymore. So then I go back into side missions in all the zones in the areas that I've discovered and unlocked. And specifically, like, with the mission, usually, like, I had a mission to make steak, and I'm still benefiting from that. Like, I still have the steak that I made from running out of my way. So I'll likely find whatever the next food buff or item is that I want to craft for myself, and then do missions up until I can't anymore, and then go back to doing, like, you know, trying to make steak or trying to make a weapon or trying to make an armor and then that'll send me out into the world to get the materials to make it and then like i just discover and stumble onto things all along the way all the while like just reminding myself where is the marker it's over here and i guess we did what that needed so now we're over here searching chests for nora's clue I try to run in straight lines and I try to berserk all the time. As much as I can, I try to stay berserked, running straight towards what I'm after. And what that ends up doing is like, I, I end up seeing all these resources along the way that I stop and grab. But then I also hit the ore and shit. So yeah, this, this is how I do it. But one thing I have been noticing is the music, the music and the sounds. That's why I wanted to show that video this morning. It's like the music and the sounds is pretty good in this game. I often have like a video or something playing off on the side, but I've been trying to play this game more specifically just without anything else. Just listening to the game itself. Can I? Do you think I can? Sometimes I can. Got him! Oh, was that actually what I needed? Oh, that was done then. <laughs> Alright, so we'll hit this landmark, and then I'm gonna recall, and then we'll do the southern bit of the map. I'll need to head west, so we'll head out to the northwest. Maybe I'll just follow this road to the northwest, actually. Yeah, because our inventory is still plenty clear. A reluctant gift. I came upon another lost in the fin. I can't say I pity him, but I resolved to help him. I placed a small sack of food and healing herbs in his path where he might find it and piled rocks pointing to the ancient road. H. So he's telling me that there's going to be an arrow with some uh, supplies nearby. I don't know if I look for that. Do I look around for that? It was one of a few in this area. What if I get up here? Maybe it's up there. There is a, a little landmark up here, so I'll go check that out. 
I find myself uh, passing these brush. There's there's bush, and then there's like these briar thorn bushes. And I remember needing to go out of my way to pick those briar thorn ones, but I haven't since then. Oh shit! This is a high level zone. Okay, we're gonna keep heading north. Please, serpentine motions. Please don't shoot me. There's a big hulking guy there. Fenton Ravager? Holy shit. Maybe we can get some ore here. If your boy ain't hit it all. It look like your boy probably hit it all. Northerly, continuing north. All these depressed ghosts are kind of scaring me because I feel like they're going to all aggro. And these guys, they move fast. Like, you're not outrunning one of them ghosts. Unfortunately, this is where I'm heading. Go this way. Ah, where did my marker go? I don't have a marker right now. I need to hit that up, following the path north. Stick to the road. Nothing's after me yet. Just gonna boogie through these guys. Watch out for that wolf. Wolves can catch me too. All this shit runs fast. Oh my god, I think I got the ghost to the left. No? No? Okay. I'm happy with that. This guy has a musket so he can reach out and touch me. So can both of these guys. Well, shit. Serpentine motion. Serpentine motion. Just bobbing and weaving, that's all. Yikes, that was close. Go, 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 go. If I get hit, I slow down, so I don't need to get hit right now. We'll go around this. Oh shit, there's a fucking wolf there too. Um, no, bro. He's close. He's so close. Yikes. Yikes. I, I always watch these back and... <laughs> I've kind of protected you guys from it, but I do these high-pitched little ah, 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 like I'll be screaming really loud. But it's like kind of high-pitched, so it's out of the range of the voice thing. At least until I get a, a higher quality microphone or something. Immortal turkey. Yeah, but. Oh, it looks like a fast travel. Oh, look, there's an ore back there, too. Yeah. Very nice. So that just makes it easier for us to leave and come up here. Got some earth, Craig. Got some earth, Craig. <laughs> Continuing. That guy's really, he's protecting those, so I'm gonna leave him to it. There's a whole lot of rock here for me to not be mining. Here's a treasure though. Maybe this is the supplies that Note was talking about. I think it set it down where some rocks were pointing at it though, not up in the mountain. Alright, we got some gloves. Their armor up their armor and gear score increased with dexterity and focus focused. We also got intelligence. I think those are probably the types that are worth something. The full single stat gear. I wanna see if that'll sell. Most of that gear is pretty cheap, though. It's not like my inventory is overcrowded, though. It's a good idea to throw a camp. After my sprint's over, I'll throw a camp. I think I'll start cutting through things. That was scary. Ah, please don't kill me. I don't want no Malfurion. 
Ah, Jesus, man, what are you chasing me for? <laughs> it's an elk. I'm supposed to be chasing you, buddy. This is the slobbering cave. Oh God, this is a slobber bear. <laughs> He's level 38 elite. No, I don't want nothing to do with it. And all these are the people he's killed, I bet. <laughs> Jeez. What is getting people out here to go get slobbered on, though? I mean, I've seen a bear area before that had, like, a lot of honey. Is it for all the honey? Are these people dying for honey? I love this zone. This is my favorite zone, I think. Weaver's Finn? It's got very Red Dead Redemption vibes. Like, more specifically, the bayou. Like, the, the bayou Red Dead. Blueberries. I ain't seen blueberries in a while. It's an ominous tone for picking blueberries. Did those belong to somebody? And was that person slobbering a lot? I generally do hit these big boulders. Giant boulders like this give a lot of... Uh, it's almost the same amount of XP as the, the iron and shit. Check it out. That was 105 for that one. It also feels good to add a dramatic change to the landscape. Oh, there's iron back there. And that one was 105. Now check out this one. A little bit more hits. Because it's a harder. That was 237. This is a smaller one. That was 158. So it's like you're trading your time to mine. So what I do is I, I don't mine the little rocks. Like this is a medium sized one. I would I would still mine like this one and even that one there in some cases. But when it comes to these these bigger boulders, like that's what I prefer. I feel like little boulders, they're not as much of a like with this boulder right now, like I could I could do other stuff while I'm mining. I could be off on the side looking something up too. So like whenever I'm gathering at the end of the day, that's nice because it also gives my hands a rest. Cause we play for long hours and I don't know about y'all, but my hands get wore out playing for this long. That's part of the reason why I picked up the guitar is to like stretch my hands in different ways. All right, do we have any ore here? Any other ore? Anything that's maybe metallic? Anything that's maybe ironic? Or maybe something that's golden. Or silver. Or platinum. Or earthly. Or shocky. Like, I don't know. I guess it would be windy, not shocky. I like how I walk off a ledge and my guy, like, has an aneurysm. Oh, didn't do it that time. We're gonna get this upper hunt. We got a skin and uh, we got a slay and skin bobcat, upper bobcat. This is it. This is uh, this is what we came all this way for, guys. I gotta level this guy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's one. We only need three of them. I don't mind a young tree. 
That'll give me plenty of wood for uh, camp. I like to keep 25 green wood on me. That way I can plop five camps down really fast if I need. Like, I'll never need to put five camps down, but... I'll have five camps that I don't have to stop and gather for, so that saves me time. It makes it to where I don't have to gather the materials for a camp for two hours. Whereas if I make a camp and then move on and I don't have any materials to make another one, then I got to stop and gather again. And within that two hours, I would have gathered like, you know, five camps worth of stuff. But I would have had to stop playing five times to do that. I don't know. That's how I think, I guess. What's crazy is like, I'll do stuff like that that way with some things, but then other things I'll just totally contradict myself and do. It's kind of like that, that same logic I'll, I just won't even follow with other stuff sometimes. I'm trying to think of an example, but I can't, nothing comes to mind at the moment. But it feels like something like that, like I would have to... Am I bullshitting about this? Is this the case that I... Do I always do things like this? Or is it just how I've done this in this game? So that was three. We done with that. Now we got a mission here called the story of stones. Gather stones from the rubble and nearby ruins and report back. Okay. Go gather some stones now. Architect Na Lee. Oh, hello. Perfect timing. I'm Na Lee, the architect. You've probably seen my work in Eb the Ebon Scale settlement. Say, do me a favor. Take a look at this bridge and tell me how old do you think it is? Uh, really old, probably? Yes, exactly. These stones have been here as long as anyone can remember. If we can learn how the ancient eight or uh, architects reinforced these structures, imagine what we could accomplish. So ha I have a theory. If my assessment is correct, this bridge is over 10,000 years old. I simply must get my hands on the samples to prove it. Can you help me with that? Yeah, I'll go smash stuff. I think that's what she wanted. She said smash things, right? All right, let's go this way. Gonna get some samples from the ruins. We just need five ancient stone samples from the rubble. Does this guy see me? Yeah, he sees me. <laughs> dunk, dunk. He's done. Oh, I see him now. Here's here's one. Ancient rubble. Oh, someone's fighting. I said dwop. Dwop. Is that this guy back here? No way. That sounds like something else. You know, I almost never see any fire mages. I see no fire mages. Whatever they did to fire mage, I feel bad because I feel like maybe they destroyed fire mage. It kind of makes me want to play one because I don't ever see them. I never see the frost guys and I never see the fire guys. This guy don't want my help, it looks like. This is the last one here. Huh. Hiya. Hiya. So now I think we double back up. We'll head back and turn this in. Are you for real, guy? <laughs> that Link's out there is like, <laughs> she's. 
He just wants attention. All right, we're still within 200 meters of our camp, so I won't throw another one. Chitatapu. His name is Chitatapu. He's a lonesome warrior. Okay, making headway in Weaver's Fin. Well, this is puzzling. Judging by the level of erosion and sediment layers, my chemical analysis, these stones could be several orders of magnitude older than I first guessed. It defies the imagination. How old exactly? I need another sample from a newer site to be certain. Master Ting Long once theorized that the bridge and span the marshes was built for more than a uh, recent era. Can you bring me samples from South Vega Bridge for a comparison? Okay, yeah. I'd be happy to. Okay. I don't know something. His name. His name is Ting Wong. <laughs> like his name's some Ting Wong. I don't know. Maybe not. All right, South. Give me the hatchet. And let's boogie South. I never did do the Papa Bear, the elite quest up there with Holt Hutchinson. <laughs> this is an opportunity. I could go up there and do that potentially right now. It's a level 35 elite though. So that's part of the reason why I was armoring up. I need to level up a bit more, I think, and get a an armor constitution thing going. A constitution armor set going. I'm I'm going to be leveling my blacksmithing here soon. And for a while, I was kind of dragging my feet on any profession stuff, except for the stuff that I just felt drawn or attracted to. And, uh... Yeah, so... I don't know, I don't think I've shot myself in the foot, but I'm definitely invested heavily into harvesting, which is more intellect or intelligence base. So this is why I consider things like the red or the fire mage or the, like, the ice mage gauntlet. Like, getting a fire staff or an ice mage gauntlet could be pretty cool. Just trying out that type of gameplay here in the high 30 levels. I played it a little bit in the beta um, for the low levels, like up to like level 10 or 20 maybe. Probably not 20, but at least level 10. And I kind of was digging it. The 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 fire staff is kind of like a flamethrower. But you can send like projectiles. Kind of like the life staff does. <clears throat> the ice gauntlet, I know less about. I didn't get a chance to mess with that really. I did, I was able to like put a few points into it. Just like shooting stuff and then doing like the little glacial spike in front of me. But I didn't really know where that was going to go or, or how interesting the ice thing would get. I played Ice Mage and WoW and it's cool. Like being able to CC and control everything and all the crits and haste buffs and stuff. Like it's really fun. But I don't know, like something about it. It wasn't, it wasn't for me. I'm more into the fire stuff, like the fire, fire mage even in classic WoW or vanilla WoW or or retail i don't know if fire i mean it was okay having the flamethrower thing go on uh on the beta but i don't know if there's been very many changes i guess that's the point is like i've been picking up weapons i haven't seen before like the great axe i hadn't really seen what the warhammer ended up doing like in the end game so i started putting a lot of points into the warhammer and i just loved it so i kept it but yeah, I'm trying all the weapons, and I don't think any of it's lost. I think it's like Final Fantasy, where all the progress we're putting into things that even we're not set up or spec for isn't really actually lost. We can come back and raise that level up and switch our gameplay up if we feel like it at any time. It's like a little bit of a cost, a gold coin to respec or some Azoth or something like that, but it's not bad. It's not anything you can't make back. I do feel like it's going to get more expensive, but there's going to be a cap. There's going to be some kind of a threshold that it... Like, I don't know if it'll be like 100 gold or 200 gold per respect, or if it's going to be something like 10 or 20. I think it's currently something like 10 or 20, but I think that's because of my level. 
Got some more ore here. Yeah, that's what I want. This is kind of the reason, too, why I'm, like, leveling up and exploring the worlds a bit. Like, cutting, like, straight through some zones and stuff to kind of see what, what things are, are looking like. Because there's some cases like this where it's just, like, there's a shitload of iron here. And this is just where you go to get your iron. There's so many places, I think, that I haven't discovered yet that are like this, where... I have found where to get garlic. Like, I was running all around the first light area for garlic. And I may need to actually do another run of that. So, it feels good, though. Like, I, I feel like I'm, I always... I like to quest and push progression and stuff like that and level up. But I feel like it's really nice to have something that's also entertaining to do that I could do off stream. That isn't as heavily focused on, like, just leveling or or progress that's just more just like kind of for fun it's just like oh i can watch a movie and then just kind of mindlessly fish that's cool like i like that type of stuff and and fishing is a little bit of a skill check so it's like not totally mindless like you still have to kind of hit the market whenever it pops up and uh the whole tension and and like if you're catching different types of fish like they pull in different ways like some of them pull really violently early on and some of them take their time before they start pulling so it's like it's interesting learning all oh that boy, stuff i must have pissed off someone at headquarters to get